Please pray with me. Master God, tell us how to serve you. Help us to serve as we ought, doing what pleases you. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Paul. Faith. A belief that the inevitable is not inevitable, and the impossible is indeed possible. In today's gospel, just read, just proclaimed to us by Carol, the disciples asked Jesus to increase their faith. Jesus responds by giving them the example of a mustard seed, which is the tiniest of all seeds. And when planted, it's underground, it first sprouts there, and then when it comes up, it beautifies the whole earth. That's amazing, isn't it? That's faith. But then, he also adds something else and tells them not to let spiritual pride Get in the way. He lets us know that we are all God's servants, every one of us. All right, I'll put it another way. If we've obeyed God, we've done what we're supposed to do. We don't do things for God for extra credit. Amen. Because it is our responsibility nor is it meaningless or worthless. In this passage, Jesus does not want us to get caught up in self-esteem also. As Christians, we should follow Jesus' exact, Jesus's example, not to be served, but to serve, as it is written in Mark, Chapter 10, verse 45. I'd like right now to share with you just one of the many examples of which faith has been in my life. And uh, my brother knows about this. Back in 1983, I left home for the very first time and enlisted in the army. I was scared. 20 years old, kids still in a way. And I went to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. And for some of you who have been in the Army, the mission to it is Fort Lost of the Woods in Missouri, which it was. The drill sergeant who was assigned to me, or I was assigned to, was not merciful at all. He made me do so many push-ups left and right, as well as the rest of the recruits. Brings me another thought. Um, if you ever looked at a latest map of the United States, you probably see that Missouri rock course a little bit. That was our company that made it that way. <laughs> However, during those 12 rough, tough, and stormy weeks, I know myself I wouldn't have made it if it wasn't for the faith I had. I kept my eyes focused on Jesus. And you know, it works and it still works and always will work. Not part of our reading today, but it's part of the lectionary. We also have a reading from the Book of Lamentations. And God assures us that there is hope for all. And that no matter how hopeless God assures us, each and every one of us, we are assured of His mercies, which are new every morning. I'd like to read to you from a passage from Lamentations. I have a duct tape table with me. 
Bible just like Pastor Alex. <laughs> It's in Lamentations 3, verses 22 to 20, 23. Oh, you don't have to follow along, just listen. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. In conclusion, we have the faith, knowing that what we do and ask for is definitely a done deal from God. Always keep our eyes focused on Jesus. His mercies are new every morning. And you know what? He loves us. Always. Amen. Amen. Amen.